Sprocket is uh, a modern game engine, essentially for serious games, for uh, simulation uh, and for design and for CA and CFT and industries that don't typically think of themselves as needing a game engine, but uh, when you analyze all their requirements, they actually do. Um, so it's an engine with a, a lot of moving parts, uh, which we try to simplify into a, a coherent core. So customers deal with these objects, these objects have attributes and components, and components are things like what you normally would think of uh, in a game or a simulation. These are things like sound, potentially physics, potentially behavior, so scripts or code, um, and of course, um, and most relevant to this conversation, uh, visual components, or 3D graphics. Blue Sprocket is high dynamic range rendering, end to end, um, with uh, fully shaded uh, objects throughout the scene. Every object in the scene is shaded, every object in the scene is lit. And we've adopted a, a new style of shading and lighting, which is popular in other domains, but for the first time available to simulation customers, that's called the deferred lighting and shading. And what this means is that we have the capability for these customers to not just see their scenes lit by the sun or by a single uh, global light source, or even by the number that the hardware can actually uh, do uh, natively. So typically eight lights is about the most you can get out of a typical OpenGL uh, hardware implementation. But by using our deferred uh, lighting and shading in the Blue Sprocket engine, we've allowed customers to render as many lights as they want uh, on as many objects in their scene and have every one of those things fully lit and shaded, um, where the performance and the quality that they want are completely interchangeable. One of the things we've been uh, working with AMD products for uh, have been uh, hardware video synchronization. Um, so we have customers who have need to display, let's say, five or six different video images side by side, uh, think of an out the window simulation, and in order to not destroy the illusion of uh, immersiveness, those images all have to be presented uh, at exactly the same moment. So AMD's latest product, the S400, has been instrumental in our uh, ability to achieve the highest quality uh, synchronization. The S400 has some features which, uh, while being industry compatible with standards and, and open uh, sort of specifications, take those specifications and allow interpretation of them in a way that makes the actual jobs people are trying to achieve with that hardware uh, more easy and more readily accomplished. AMD's engineers are, are, are sharp and intelligent and articulate and we've had uh, very good success with solving problems collaboratively where something doesn't work for us. They take it, they look at it in the lab and they can say that's intentional, that's how it's supposed to work, or they can say that's a bug or a uh, feature that's not fully implemented and uh, make a correction at that point. And we've had really great turnaround times with that been able to quickly iterate towards uh, better solutions uh, more quickly simply because of uh, a strong relationship and uh, easy access uh, to technical uh, staff and engineering staff. And on the product side, we've had great success uh, working with um, particularly the product team around the high-end workstation products to help find customers who have hard problems and to see how to best engineer a solution to meet those needs.